I, I was going to tell you about these, these this, we were talking about the uh, apple uh, yard and, and, and the, uh, the lack of refrigeration. And, and we, we, we had, you know, ice manufacturing uh, uh, companies here in Wenatchee and they supplied the, the railroad with ice. And um, uh, that's, uh, that's how we kept the apples cool uh, in transit. Uh, except in the winter time, uh, and uh, uh, here's here's a scenario that did occur occasionally. You could load a uh, a car of apples in Tenasket and bring it down to Wenatchee, add ice to it, uh, ship it uh, east, and about the time it got to Fargo, North Dakota, you pull the ice out and you lit the heaters in the car. Uh, and then uh, if it was say going to Florida, uh, you'd take the heaters out at about uh, uh, Kansas City and it, it would uh, run down to Memphis and you'd put ice in it again. And then there sometimes there would be another stop where you'd add salt to the ice, you know, that, that makes it even colder. You know, you make, you ever make ice cream, you know, the more salt, you know. Yeah, so, so uh, you, or you could ship a car out of here without any ice in it if it wasn't real hot and you just have what we call plugs in of uh, vents closed uh, and it would just, uh, just travel at whatever the ambient temp temperature was. But uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. That was also part of our responsibility.